Hey, what is up, guys? Magic for you is back after Poland. Finally, after almost a, a month of not making a video, which I'm very sorry about. But uh, you might be wanting the winners. The winners of the giveaway, they will be contacted private. But right now, we are doing free, free, really cool coin tricks. Let's get on. All right, guys. So for trick number one, we're just going to take this coin and um, as you can see. Oh, we're gonna just start rubbing it just like that into the eye. All right. So what you want to do is take a coin and go to the bathroom and wash it. Okay. Because you don't want to put a dirty coin that loads of people have uh, held. So this coin is 2009, so it's been around for 7 years. And that means a lot of hands must have touched this coin. So that's why you go into the bathroom, clean it with soap, um, with whatever you want, just to get rid of the bacteria. So uh, once you have it all cleaned, you just want to basically start performing by showing the coin. You can show that there's nothing else, nothing in your mouth or anything, but... Just don't give the trick away. Um, so you're just gonna start by uh, placing it to your eye, and just pretend to rub it. Okay, you, you're not really pushing down into your eye. You don't want to hurt yourself. And notice how I have my hand like this uh, uh, for the start. But once I go, okay, so we're gonna start rubbing it. Did you notice how my hand went down? So as my hand goes down, uh, I, the coin does as well. So. I, I'm still pretending the coin is here, but really it slipped down right over here. So it's right by my mouth. And at this point, uh, you have uh, half your mouth basically covered. So you can just, I don't know, you can just go just like that into your mouth. And then obviously quickly conceal it on your tongue. Um, so that's why you basically want to wash the coin. Um, so just again, slips down pretty easy just to practice it into your mouth, sorry I'm not very good at that move and then you just go okay, you can show your hand I think that and then let it fall right guys, so welcome back to trick number two so we're just going to take a hand, place the coin on top and roll it into a fist, just like that and then we're just going to start rubbing the coin, just like that into the fist and then slowly we can see that the coin disappears. It's literally dissolved into my hand, gone through my hand and inside the fist. But guys, once again, I don't know whether I performed that correctly, um, but here's the tutorial. So you only need one coin uh, at the end of the trick. You can show your hands are clean except from this coin. And then um, basically you just uh, clench your fist just like that, place the coin on top and when you start rubbing it, you want to you want to use this part of your hand, this part. So when when you have it on top, and you just basically put this part on top, just like that. Don't know. Where. Okay, this part, and then you just start rubbing it, just like that. And once this goes over here, then the coin will will basically travel over here into there. And then what you want to do is just sl sl slightly open up your fist so it goes inside, just like that. Slightly open it up and then clen clench it back together, and you can slowly show that it has gone through your hand. Alright, guys, so welcome back to the last and final trick, which is a classic uh, you can play, but it's basically like a game for your friends. So, first of all, you just go up and go, Okay, I'm going to take the coin, which hand is it in? They'll say this hand, so you just say, Nope, it's actually in this hand, I never took it. So, just say, We're going to play it again, so this time you're going to do this. And they'd be like, which hand is it in? Most people go for this one, but it's actually not. It's this one. So you basically just done it again, just like that. And then you're going to say, okay, we're going to do it one uh, final time. And then, and then you're just going to do it again and say, which hand is it in? Most people will either choose this one and this one. It doesn't matter. So in this one, there's no coin. And in this one, there's no coin as well. Right, guys, here's the tutorial. So I only need one coin once again. And then... Um, you're going to take it into your hand and you need to learn basically the coin disappearing or just basically leaving it in your hand. So um, 
So you've got to pretend to take it when you're really just letting it go. So when your hand goes over just like this, you're really just doing this. So that, letting it fall, and obviously your hand will be like that, so it, it will just fall right into your palm. Just like that, so you can clench it like that. So once again, coming in, letting the coin go, so it falls to the bottom, and then pretending like I have it in this one. So most people, if they haven't seen it already, or if they haven't, learnt it already will go for this one and then you can just say no it's actually in this one and then for the second time you're just going to do it properly so you, so you are actually going to take it uh, most people will think that you've just done it again so they will think that the coin is in this hand and, you've, and you're just going to show that it's empty obviously I'm not saying it's 100% guaranteed that they will choose this one but it's I'm saying about a 90% chance that they will choose this one and then for the last and final one this is going to be a bit different, you're going to hold it in the same position but this time when you're reaching just like that, you're going to leave the coin right here so in this part just like that, see? and then when you clench it, just like that so the coin is hidden over here so they will either go for this one or this one, it doesn't matter you just open this one up and if it's this one then just go and then just sort of like pretend to like, I don't know, like throw it to the ground, but just be like, there's no coin there. Right, guys, so that was the three tricks, uh, but don't go yet because I have a bonus trick coming up. Right, guys, so for the bonus trick, uh, we're gonna take uh, lime and we're gonna take about four coins, that's what I've chosen. So now just put them in your pocket and you're going to just make little slits into, into the lime. So you can fit holes in, so you can fit the coins in there. Alright, so after making your slits, you're just going to take your coins and you're just going to push them into it. Just like that, and leave about half the coins sticking out. So we're just going to take another one, and there's my other slit. There it is. Just gonna push it in, just like that. Okay, I've pushed it in almost all the way. I'm gonna take the bigger one now, push it in, just like that, and the last one, push it in just like that. So I have four coins in here, you can do more, and you can just leave it for a couple of minutes. Guys, welcome back. I've waited about, I don't know, an hour, I think. And we're going to see this coins now, so if we take the first one out. Uh, this one's not a really good example, but you can sort of see uh, clean lines on the coin. If I just show you like that. Come on, will it focus? Okay, I'll, it won't focus, but you can see in those clean lines on the coin. So this one's not a good example. I think we may have some better ones. I'm going to take this one that's been dug in deeper. Look at that. That is really clean. That was not clean before, trust me. Look, you, you can still see some of the darker areas on the coin, which shows the um, dirtier parts that were still there. Incredible. Lime cleaned your coin. So we're going to take another look at the other two. Okay, this one's a perfect example. Look, half and half. Just like that. One clean, one dirty still. As you can see. And on the other side as well. So, lime does clean the coins, which is pretty cool. I'm going to take a look at the last coin. Yep, we have a good example here as well, except from a little dirt. has little dirty part has been left on the top. Uh, just like that. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, science experiment and those really uh, cool free uh, coin tricks. And of course I will see you guys later. Well, next week basically. Bye.